So I hope you liked the first video. Um, yeah, it was just sort of a small collection of clips. Um, I need to try and find a way of mounting the camera right to this bit of the bunk, sort of here-ish, so that I could record while I'm driving from a better angle. Um, but yeah, it's had not many views, but you know, it's had a few views. Um, hopefully people will leave some comments, ask some questions that I'll answer if I can. Yeah, in Dartford today at the Orchard. Um, South End was the day before yesterday. I stayed there for two days so I could get a 45 hour break in. Um, South End was all right, there's not a lot around it to do. Dartford's a bit of a pain. Um, it's just one loading dock and the bus is parked across ways in front of me and the lighting fan is parked like right in front of the truck. So It's all a bit of a squeeze, but here's what it is. Tomorrow is Cadogan Hall, which is uh, Sloan Terrace in London, it's like right in the middle of London, so that's going to be fun getting there. I mean, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave overnight, um, I'll leave here about midnight ish, midnight, quarter past midnight, and go straight there because the parking base gets suspended when there's a gig on. But I'd rather just get, get into London when it's, um, you know, when it's quiet, there's no traffic, no bikes, it's, um, it's just going to be a lot easier, hopefully. So yeah, that's that really. Pete looks like he used to get in his van. We got in somehow, yeah. So yeah, Dartford. Um, I may well record some footage while I'm driving in and around London because that's gonna be quite an interesting drive. Yesterday I didn't do an update because it was quite a busy day, but we were in London um, at Cadogan Hall, which is right in the center of London. Um, wasn't too bad. Um, I went in overnight. I got there about must have been about one, half past one in the morning. So there was no traffic or cyclists or anything like that around. But that was fine. Loading was fine. Gig was fine. It was just quite a busy day. Uh, and then got out of London fine. And then played a game that I haven't played for a while. Actually, the highways have been pretty on it with road closures, but. I, I'm in Basingstoke today, I went out of London on the A4, picked up the M25 thinking that I'd be able to get on the M3, and it was shut. But the diversion took you off the M25 as if you were going to go on the M3, uh, westbound, yeah, yeah, westbound. And then when you got to the split for east-west, west was closed, diversion follow east, and I thought, oh okay, it would just loop me round at in the next junction and bring me back and I'll be on it. So we went down the M3 back to, towards London, looped around, came back and the M3 was closed and it put me back on the M25. So it's like, why, I don't understand, why Why did it take me off the M, uh, the M25, put me on the M3 the wrong way, loop me back and put me back on the M25, why didn't they just say carry on? to the next junction where it brought you back around. It's just, it seems typical of the highways. They don't seem to be able to do things like that very well. But, um, you know, it wasn't too bad for me because I wasn't too pressed for time. But if you were, you know, on a journey that was pretty tight on your driving time, then that sort of thing just really messes you about. And it just sort of, it doesn't give the highways a very good reputation when they don't seem to be able to plan a road enclosure, but I think do. But anyway, after all that, finally got to Basingstoke about 20 minutes later than we should have done. Um, yeah, and the bollards in front of us were locked, so the bus had to come up behind me and swing in over there, and it took about 10 shunts for him to do it. But yeah, Basingstoke Anvil. Someone's just text me. Can wait. Yeah, nice easy gig. Um, and tomorrow's Guildford, so not even an hour's drive. Happy days.
in Guildford today at the G Live, which is a really nice, big, modern, new venue. Big loading dock. Um, nice, easy get in. The stage is like at the back of where the truck is. So um, yeah, you know, nice and easy, proper gig. Um, the journey over was fine. I recorded um, that I will have put in before this bit a little bit of footage of when I pulled into the venue. I'm going to try and do sort of more bits like that so that my videos aren't just me talking at the camera. But um, I thought it worked quite well. I sort of the mount I've got is like a grip thing. I just mounted it to the side of the box. Um, yeah, so you know I'll have a play, see what else I can do with that. Yeah, tomorrow is Eastbourne at the Cong I think it's the Congress Theatre or something like that, Congress Hall. And yeah, it shouldn't be too bad of a drive, the gig's not too bad. The load in, which I'll video when I get there, is like up these really kind of steep ramps that the truck has to go up, but um yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah. You know. Nice, nice and easy, good crew. Just a nice proper day. Although it did rain quite a lot, so that was a bit naff. But yeah, Guildford. So, as you've seen, I've pulled up in Eastbourne and there's still one, two, three, four Paul Matthew um, Arctics being loaded. So, I'll have to just sit here. I'll um, put my card on rest and once they're gone, I'll probably shunt in front of the ramp just so I'm ready tomorrow. But it must be a big show, whatever they've had in. Four Arctics. I bet they're having great fun. It's very windy as well, um, the journey down was a bit windy.
so we're in Portsmouth today at the Guild Hall. I uh, had a day off yesterday, so there's a weather spoon it's just the other side of the road, so I went there with the bus driver most of the day. Just had a proper day off. And tonight we drive to Swindon. Um, I think it's called the Wyvern Theatre. I've not been there for about three years, I don't think, so can't really remember it. But yeah, it's a nice day here. It's a bit of a horrible kind of dock to get on because you come in through that way, you reverse through some really tight gates and then you have to swing the truck at a right angle to get on this but there's some trees dotted everywhere, it's a pain. But apart from that it's a pretty easy gig. And yeah, nearly at the end of the tour we've got Swindon and I think it's Swindon a day another day off, um, Liverpool and then Salford and that's it. And then the day after I'll be dropping equipment off. And then, yeah, and then I've got about two weeks off, so there probably won't be a video while I'm not working. I think I'll go back on the road. Um, when is it? I think it's about the 20th or something like that of March, so two or three weeks off. But then, you know, this is, I think this tour is about seven weeks, so, you know, it'd be nice to go home for a bit. Spent more of 2016 in the truck than at home, so. <laughs> So yeah, a nice day in Portsmouth, onwards to Swindon.